Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you must be aware, um, there is a course about advanced power system analysis that I am creating, and the Xilin Power Factory. It will be at the core of that uh, of that course. Okay, and something that I I, I need that all my students be familiar and also all, all my researchers inside my research team they must be aware is about a very important functionality inside power factory and it's uh, related with the dynamic modeling inside the Xilin power factory this is a very short video and what i will do today is just uh, describing the basic concepts related with dynamic modeling inside power factory that is that is what people call <laughs> normal people call DSL dynamic simulation language inside the Xilin power factory okay and um, this is a very short video it's a series of videos related with creating developing testing and finally sharing uh, uh, DSL models okay um well um if you are here is because you you are subscribed to my youtube channel however if you have time please follow me on twitter and in linkedin and that could be helpful you can be informed about my activities and other stuff that i am doing okay what is the job to, uh, in this very short video i will introduce the main concepts relate with dynamic modeling concepts inside the Excel and Power Factory, okay? And I will start with the motivation. What is the motivation behind creating models for uh, time domain simulations, RMS simulations and EMT simulations inside the Excel and Power Factory? Well, the first thing that you must understand is that um, when, you are, when you are doing time domain simulation, um, there are many components which the dynamics models are already include inside the Xilin Power Factory. If you use the classical elements like the generator, synchronous machine, or the two-winding transformer, or you, you are using an induction motor, or you are using a transmission line, all the dynamics model for AMT and RMS simulations, they are already included inside Power Factory. What I'm trying to say is that all the differential equations related for the, uh, to the time domain uh, to the time domain processes of those components are already defined inside Power Factory. And but if those models are not included well you need to follow a very important process and that is creating uh, models okay uh, system modeling is a very critical issue okay system modeling is very important uh, a lot of people try to use the Xilin power factory as a lego uh, using boxes and connecting things and so on but that is working if you are using a classical power flow or short circuits and so on but if you are interested in power system dynamics or you are interested on amt simulations um, you you need you need to include models of some components that the dynamics is very important okay and for that reason uh, creating models is a core of the system modeling okay those models they have inside differential equations to describe the dynamic performance um, for those differential equations you have some coefficients that they came in the form of parameters okay when you are creating those models you must understand that those models have restrictions restrictions that they can they they come in a very different way they can come from the physical world or they can come from the mathematical world okay however every time that you are creating a model one important step is that you need to validate and verify your model okay and that is a, a, a an issue that many people they they don't care about when you create a model you must be you must be sure that the response and the behavior of that model is is following the 
the the behavior that we are expecting for that reason typically we need to have field measurements or some equations that will allow you to compare the the numerical results coming from your model and the real life okay for that reason you need to be sure about the validation process and the verification process when your when your model is ready okay you can use it and then you can use the model for forecasting behavior or something like that okay when you are talking about racine stability or well any any kind of stability um you need you need to be careful okay because um, as i say before there are some models that they are already included inside the xilin power factory but there are many other models that they are not okay power factory uh, the xilin power factory has been working extremely hard in order to include more and more models inside the libraries I will discuss about the general library and uh, the global library in, in another video and the standardized models. But what I need that you understand is even with the best effort of Power Factory of including IEEE models, IC models, w, WCCC models, and so on, there are many models that they are not standardized and they are not included inside the global library of Power Factory. For instance, heat pumps current limiters or many other technologies and it's no surprise that if you are in such kind of situations you must create your model by yourself okay and also if you are a good scientist uh, and you are developing technology of course you need to create the models by yourself okay the good news is the Xilin Power Factory have included functionalities in order to allow you the creation of uh, user-defined models, okay? And that is a very high specialized uh, functionality inside Power Factory that allows you to create and replicate exact models, okay? That very specific functionality receives the name Dynamic Simulation Language. That means DSL. DSL is a very important functionality inside Power Factory that allows you creation of user-defined models, okay? And those user-defined models, they can be connected with the classical models already included inside the excellent Power Factory, like the generators or uh, transformers or loads or anything like that, including power converters, okay? Those dynamics models, those dynamic models, they can represent controllers. Typically, they are used to create controllers, but you can also create many other things. Okay, um, um, what what is important that you understand is that DSL, dynamic simulation language, is a very powerful feature that have many concepts and a very uh, interesting uh, structure and, and functionalities inside Power Factory. During, during a time domain simulation, those models, the equations that you describe for your models using DSL, they are combined with the dynamic behavior of the power components already inside Power Factory, the elements, the synchronous generator, the transmission line, and so on. And then when Power Factory is solving the dynamics, the equations related with the dynamic, time domain dynamics of those, of those components include the behavior of the new user-defined model, okay? Um, DSL is a very, very important tool, okay? DSL is the language that we use to create and represent new user-defined models inside Excellent and Power Factory. It's not be confused, it, it, it's not be confused with the quasi-dynamic modeling language that we have also. A few, year, uh, few years ago, Dick, Dick Sillen included a, a very important power, uh, power system analysis function, and that is the quasi-dynamic simulation. And also, in order to open that functionality for the users, Power Factory create a very specified language for that, okay? I will not cover in this video the, the language dedicated for quasi-dynamic simulations, but I want that all my students understand that there is something called DSL, and that is a po very powerful feature inside Power Factory that will uh, help you to create your models, your dynamics models, okay? Well, um, this is all for this video. It's just a very short introduction about dynamic modeling concepts in Power Factory. Please stay tuned and wait for the next videos because in the next videos, I will go across more details about DSL. And at the end of this session, you must be able to complete a DSL model by yourself. Well, 
that's all for today thank you very much for watching the, the video please uh, leave your comments below or if you want you can subscribe to my youtube or um, my twitter account or my linkedin thank you very much